Hey, welcome to my video guys. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a dual boot on a Windows 11 PC. This would basically be the same on a Windows 10 PC as well. Today we're going to boot between Windows 11 and Kali Linux. So let's jump right in. First thing we're going to do guys is we're going to get onto our Windows 11 machine. I'm using a virtual machine but the steps are basically the exact same on a physical device. You're going to go to disk management and then you're going to find your C drive or your system volume. Right click that and click shrink volume. We need to make some space for the Kali Linux instance. So we need to tell it how much do we want to shrink this volume by. 30 gigs would be more than plenty for Kali Linux to run, so I'm just going to go with 30 gigabytes here, guys. That'll leave us with just over 50 on the C drive uh, volume for the Windows OS, which is still plenty. Go ahead and hit shrink. This doesn't take but a second. And that's all we need to do on the Windows side. So now that we have that in place, we can go ahead and, in my case, I'm going to attach a CD or an ISO here to the VM. Again, if this was a physical device, you would be using probably a USB stick. If you need uh, any advice or any step-by-step -step on creating a bootable USB device, I recommend you follow my um, series on USBs. I show you everything from A to Z when it comes to bootable USBs. All right, so I picked my Kali Linux ISO. I have that connected to the VM. Again, skip this step if you're on a laptop and just have your bootable USB ready to go. So we can restart this now. And once this comes back up, I'm going to jump into the boot menu. And I'm going to select the, in my case, the CD-ROM. But in your case, you would be booting from the USB if you're on a physical device. And there we are. Now we're at the uh, Kali. And we're just going to go ahead and start the installer. So this is, in my opinion, guys, this is the easiest way, or one of the easiest ways to get dual boot going on a, a Windows PC. So just go through this, select your country, your language, your keyboard layout. I'll do a little bit of fast forwarding here with the power of editing. It takes a few minutes to get this all installed. First coffee of the day. Alright guys, once that's done, give your machine a name. I'm just going to leave mine at Kali. This is just a lab again. No domain name needed. I'm going to set up a user. I'll just call this HackerX. Do not do what I do here and use a four letter password. This is just a lab again. Never do this in production, obviously. You guys know that. Alright, pick your time zone. It's going to detect the disks. And it's just going to find the one with the open space, so we're just going to go with guided, use the largest continuous free space. And it'll show you the, um, the partitions and everything before you actually click enter to go here. We're going to do the easy route, all partitions on one disk. And here we see we still have the Microsoft partition, the NTFS, that's 50 gigs, and then we have an EXT4, which is 30. And that's where this is going to get installed. All right, once you're happy with this, you are going to have to click yes to write these changes to the disk and continue. So it partitions, it's going to install, and we'll do a little bit of fast forwarding here through the power of editing. Give this a second to do its thing. All right, guys, I don't need to do the... Um, Supplemental software. Again, this is just a lab. Feel free to do this. I'm going to select no. All right, now it's installing the bootloader. Now it's finishing the installation. Almost there, guys. All right, it's done. So we can go ahead and hit continue and that'll reboot. And now we should have a nice Linux or Kali Linux bootloader. There it is. So now we see we have Kali Linux and we have Windows Boot Manager there. I'm going to boot into Kali first just to make sure everything's working there. We'll get logged in with our new user we created, HackerX, and that super strong password. Just kidding. All right, Kali Linux looks like it's working great. Let's go ahead and reboot, and then we'll test Windows. You can reboot however you want. I just do a sudo reboot here. This will bring us back to the Kelly bootloader once again. Now, this time, let's go ahead and try Windows. So 
So that's really it, guys. I mean, we have a dual boot Kali and Windows 11, and this didn't take long at all, and it was very straightforward. So in my opinion, one of the easiest ways to get your Windows 11, Windows 10 device up in dual boot mode quickly. All right, there we are. We're logged into Windows 11. Looks like everything's good here. I'm just going to do another reboot. And just for being OCD and um, extra validation, let's go ahead and restart again and jump back into Kali. That just kind of demonstrates that we can swap back and forth between these operating systems. All right, we're getting booted back up here. We should have our Kali screen. And let's jump back into Kelly Linux one more time. Again, I just want to show you guys that we can go back and forth with no problem. This makes it super easy. Um, obviously, these are both installed, so all your work's going to save on either platform uh, to just be able to, at the reboot of a device, switch between Kelly Linux and Windows 11. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, I did it on a virtual machine, but if you have any questions about doing that on a physical, let me know. If you guys like jumping between different operating systems, check out my shop, bootableusbs.com. I've got a selection of USBs here that are jam-packed with all kinds of latest technology. I've got one that's just focused on cybersecurity. Uh, my most popular one, though, guys, is the 46-in-1 Ultimate USB. This thing has Linux distributions, it has antivirus rescue disks, it has pen testing and offensive security, it has hypervisors, servers, all kinds of stuff. If you guys are into tech, you might like it. Just check it out if you have a second, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, let me know. I'd be very happy to help you out. Until the next one, take care, guys. Have a great day.